Hello and welcome to Storytime with Kate. Today I'm gonna talk about the three different books. Uh, actually, I'm gonna talk about why it's a good idea to have different versions of the books. There are many ways you can do it. So one is to find books in the library. Um, as you know, I'm a huge fan of op shops and uh, secondhand shops and uh, opportunity shops. Um, goodwill <laughs> uh, and I buy these things on garage sales and secondhand so all these three books uh, cost two dollars one dollar each uh, and they all are the same so that's G uh, B Jack and the Beanstalk this is Jack and the Beanstalk and this one is Jack and the Beanstalk if we think about it, these are the same stories yes so same fairy tales yes so once upon a time there was a young boy whose name was Jack and um, uh, this story is pretty similar, but what you can do with children, you can actually read each book. So let's say once uh, a day, you can read one book or you can have a session when you will read all three books. But what you can encourage them to pay attention to is the uh, font. Yes, so that's a print as well. The illustrations and any variations in the story. Yes, so you can see that this one is pretty long. So it's got some interesting pictures and a lot of text. So yeah, that's something you can do. So yeah, that's pretty a long book. Yeah. While this one has different illustrations. So it's much more applicable to early childhood and group reading. Uh, and you can see the differences as well. What do you have in this book? Yes, yeah, so you might not have in this book. And this book also encourages some other things to consider whether uh, there are any new characters. So basically what is the same in these two books and what is different. Then you can introduce the third book as well, <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk and see how is this book different yeah so how does it differ um so yeah you can see that it's got less illustrations it's um um less pages you can see that um there is a giant as well but there is no giant's wife yeah so it's kind of different so why uh this tale so tale is great so it's lots of to discuss but Different books encourage children to consider uh, what are the patterns, symbols, and also the differences and similarities. So that's the basis of cognitive development. So by offering them different stories, especially if you find one with a different twist, for example, um, Jack is actually a girl, <laughs> so there would be Jill and the Beanstalk, or there would be a different uh, twist. Uh, there are so many books available on the market or the giant actually a good guy but jack is mean so this also will encourage some kind of storytelling so by providing them with a range of books on the same topic or same version of ter uh, different versions of the same fairy tales um, you can encourage them to think creatively to see uh, the differences and develop as well so it's a good point for discussion so i hope you enjoyed listening to my story time Good luck and please like the video and subscribe.